nahihirapan ba kayo sa mga lessons nyo? Don't worry, because we got your back. So grab your pens and take down notes because we're ready to hit the road in Youth Box. For today, our lesson will be mixture. For me, mixture is everywhere. For example, your simple breakfast like oatmeal. It is a mixture because it contains two or more substances that are mixed together, like water. Because even the purest water contains dissolved minerals and gases. You're right, we will talk about mixture. Are you ready to distinct and mix up different substances? Yeah! If yes, then let's get started. What is mixture? Mixture is a material made of two or more different substances that are physically combined, in which the identities are retained and are mixed in the form of solutions, suspensions, and colloids. Let us know more about its three parts. Let's start with solution. A special type of homogeneous mixture composed of two or more substances in a single phase. The second form is suspension. A heterogeneous mixture composed of solid particles sufficiently large for sedimentation. These particles are visible and will settle on standing. The third one is colloid. A mixture in which one substance of microscopically dispersed, insoluble particles is suspired throughout another substance. A homogeneous solution with intermediate particle size between a solution and suspension. Now, let us move on to the two kinds of mixture. There are two kinds of mixture, the homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. Let's start with a homogeneous mixture, a solid, liquid, or gaseous mixture that has the same proportions of its components throughout any given sample. It is mixed or blended together so well that all of the ingredients will not separate out even over time. The word homogeneous comes from Latin and Greek. The prefix homo means same and the gene means kind. The suffixes make it an adjective. One special type of homogeneous mixture is the solution. The solution has two types. Solute is the substance that is being dissolved, while solvent is the dissolving medium. Let me give you some examples of homogeneous mixture. Air, water, salt water, and coffee. Let us proceed to the next mixture. The heterogeneous mixture. A mixture made up of more than one phase or of different parts and can be separated physically. Its components are visibly distinguishable from one another. This mixture includes two types of substances, the element and the compound. Let us know what is element. Element is a substance whose atoms all have the same number of protons. They are the simplest and hence cannot be broken down using chemical reactions. Element can only be changed into other elements using nuclear methods. While the compound is a substance formed when two or more chemical elements are chemically bonded together. Here are some examples of heterogeneous mixture. Oil and water cannot be mixed. The oil phase is less dense than the water phase, and so the oil floats on the top of the water. Salad with lettuce, cheese, seeds, tomatoes, broccoli, and other vegetables. The foods can be distinguished from each other and can be separated easily. Bowl of oatmeal with raisins is a heterogeneous mixture. The raisins may be solid, but turn the bowl over and you will see the mixture most definitely acts like a liquid. Rocks in the sand at the beach are a heterogeneous mixture. Natural processes have mixed up sand, stones, shells, and even living things scattering them across the beach as a mixture. So now you know the different types of mixtures and its examples. Try to explore more. Check your food, your drinks, and wherever you are. You can find different mixtures. Isn't it exciting? And that's all for this video. Kaalaman ay pagyamanin upang
ang kinabukasay mapaghandaan natin. Sana ay may natutunan kayo. Paalam!